state of Florida actually, last statistics I looked at, we do more prescribed burning than the other 48 states combined. If we did not, uh, the fire situation here in the state of Florida would be so much worse. We are the second largest air wing in the United States, predominantly uh, gearing or uh, targeting uh, fire detection and uh, mitigation. We also have the largest aerial uh, prescribed burn program in the United States. We're kind of a low-key agency. We don't seek a lot of publicity, but at the same time, it is nice to know that we, uh, we are as large as we are and we're progressing, uh, adding new technology and uh, training for our pilots. Uh, we've transitioned from strictly internal training to uh, starting with some of the industry standards, making sure our pilots get a mix of external training as well as internal training. I can't see enough about the guys at Eagle. They gave us a great, great aircraft. There really was nothing on the market that was identical or fit to replace it. Uh, many of the manufacturers want you to move up to a multi-engine aircraft, and for what our purposes are, we didn't see the need for that. We neither fly at altitude here in Florida, nor do we go out uh, beyond international waters. We leave that mission to the U.S. Coast Guard. So all of our missions here were suitable for a single-engine aircraft where we could actually increase the lifting capability of the aircraft, primarily conduct our water drops. It allows us to lift more water with only one engine and actually provides us more power than if this were to be a, a, a Bell 212 in its original state. They did the whole STC design specifically for us, um, for everything from the TDFM install to the Garmin 750 package. We even got lights and sirens on this thing, believe it or not. So the Eagle Single is really suited to uh, the Florida Forest Service. It's new to our fleet and we're still, uh, we're still learning and operating various types of missions with it. But so far, from what we can tell, it is the best aircraft out there to replace the uh, time-proven uh, Belt Huey. Our fixed wing team is very, very important to us. Uh, they're actually our eyes in the sky uh, when we're actually working fire. Um, they'll sit up on top of the the helicopters that are actually drop in water on the fire and actually give a bird's eye view and perspective, not just for the helicopters, but also the men on the ground that are in the, in the, uh, the dozers and in the brush trucks and such like that. They're pretty much like, like an operational overwatch in the military. Florida Forest Service for years is, uh, you know, we kind of run under the radar. From, you know, it's wildfires and, you know, our, our operators, our, our, our uh, pilots, our mechanics, our support staff are an incredible group uh, that a lot of times don't get in front of the camera. They're folks that are in the woods plowing the fires or in the air putting it out, you know, go back to the airport that day. But there is not an agency in the world that I believe is more dedicated than the citizens of this state than the Florida Forest Service. These folks are great people. They work hard. They're dedicated. Like I said, they, we ask them to pick up and move at any point in time and just an outstanding group of folks to work with. And that's why I've been here so long. It's the people. The job is great, but the people make it incredible. And that goes from the newest forest ranger to, to our director and even up to our you know commissioner. We've got a great place to work, a great atmosphere.